have this feeling of life that I think feeds all of us, and including folks that are, are meeting here for meetings. And they, they hear the preschool and they hear this sound of life. And I think they, I think they experience God in that sound. Thank you, God, for this new day in my school to work and play. One of our uh, people, board members, um, being, was also in the field of education, and she said, well, there's so much talk about STEM these days, you know, why don't we have a STEM program? And she almost said it jokingly because here we are working with preschoolers. We can really tailor it around what the kids' interests are. And STEAM is just, it's great because it's all around them. It's everything you do as science or technology or art or engineering or math. And it's just kind of finding that and pulling it out. So every time you're in a car, guess what? There's an axle underneath you. What a still is it? Yeah. Was that easier than the last time you tried it, Sam? Yeah. Yeah, why? When you're a scientist, you're, you're not just sitting writing, you're doing, you're inventing. And it's about the creative process and critical thinking. If you want your child filling in worksheets and learning, they're going to learn to read, but if you're expecting them to learn with worksheets, that this is not the school for you. I think STEAM offers the opportunity for the kids to get a little bit more involved in their education, whether it's making decisions as to what they learn, how long they learn it for. Um, it also introduces them to different types of materials and manipulatives, as well as just a little bit more um, academic education, I believe, through play than the regular classroom. It sounds funny even for a six-year-old to know how to do research, but to be able to look at books and f figure out um, things by looking at pictures and, um, and reading text. I, mean, I think it's an important skill to know that they don't have to have all the answers, that they have ways of getting answers. He was born in a manger on that Christmas day. We have a very diverse preschool, so not all of our students are Christian, but we want them to know that, you know, God loves everybody. Um, and that as Christians, we love everybody too. The early stage, what they're teaching is what's good and what's bad, and that is um, making difference in behavior. Uh, my daughter, she, she tells me like, God loves you, like you can do this, That's, that is wrong. That kind of behavior is, um, I like about their church programs. Our preschool probably more mirrors our community than our congregation does. And so we learn a lot from them as we interact with them. And then as a congregation, I think we're beginning to, to broaden our perspective on what it, how this community has changed and evolved over time and, and how God is calling us to be a part of that change and a part of that new community.